In this tutorial we will show you how to animate flexible wires and cables in SOLIDWORKS. Now let's begin by reviewing our setup that we have already made to save your time. As you can see we have a room with walls, floor and electric wall socket. In this electric wall socket, power plug for the fan is to be inserted. If you take a look at the fan you will probably notice that there is no power cord. Because, we will model that power cable using 3D sketch as a separate part to make it flexible. Now, let's examine the plug. Let's, first zoom in to see the important details clearly. We intentionally left visible the sketch we have used to make the tail of plug. This sketch is just a line with sweep command applied. We will later make important relationships between this line and our sketch for flexible cord. We now take a look at the mates between plug and socket. We have placed the plug with the help of concentric and coincident mates. These mates are disabled because we want to move our plug. We will use these mates later on when we will position our plug into socket. A sketch is created from fan to wall socket to help us navigate in 3D space. Now, let's create our flexible wire by creating new part into assembly command. Click anywhere to start a new part. Then, exit the sketch and discard any changes. After that exit the part. First we will rename the part to wire flexible, or whatever name you like. Then we delete the in-place mate, automatically created by SOLIDWORKS. Now, when we click to edit our newly made part this message will appear. This actually a warning message that is usually not desirable but in our case we are looking forward for this message to appear because we want to make sure that our part is not fixed and is free in space in order to make it flexible. Let's start a 3D sketch. First create a straight line of arbitrary length anywhere in space. Avoid any kind of relationships or constraints. The next step is the most important one. Create the parallel and collinear relationship between this new line and the line used in sketch for the tail of the plug. Notice the parallel and collinear relationships that we have just created. Add some dimension to this line. Then, make endpoints of the lines coincident. Now, we have three relationships, parallel, collinear and coincident. Now we will enter the spline command. We start creating our spline from the hole in the stand of the fan, as shown. Avoid any kind of relationships. Except we will intentionally create some relations between our spline and 3D guide sketch, that we will delete later.
Finish the sketch somewhere near the line just created. Now, we will add some important relationships. First we will make endpoints coincident. Then, we make tangent relation between spline and line. Now delete the relationships between our new sketch and 3D guide sketch. The only relations that remains, are the endpoints relations. Now exit the sketch and apply sweep command. Then exit the part. It looks like the wire that we are looking for, but we may have to make some further changes. Now disable the mates between plug and socket so that we may be able to move the plug and hopefully the flexible cord along with. Now move the plug and then hit the rebuild button to rebuild the flexible wire. Move the plug to some arbitrary position in some arbitrary orientation and rebuild to check the shape of wire after rebuilding. It looks like the wire is not in the shape that we were looking for, so we have to edit the sketch in this position. Make necessary changes to the sketch. Exit the sketch command and exit the part when necessary changes have been made successfully. Now create new motion study. Move the timeline bar to 1 second and place an orientation key. Then calculate. We want nothing to happen during one second. Now move the timeline bar to two seconds then move the plug to some other position and orientation. A new key is automatically created. Then calculate to see the results. Now move the timeline bar to 3 seconds. Then again move the plug to create a new key. We will do the same again and again until we get the plug close to the socket. To correctly orient our plug to socket we will now use our concentric mate. We will create a key for concentric mate just after 5 seconds. Then we move our timeline bar to 6 seconds and enable concentric mate to create a new key. Calculate and rebuild to see the results.
Finally move the timeline bar to 7 seconds and move the plug close to socket to create the final key. After watching the aggregate results, create a video of the whole timeline. 